new painting today. It's a little different. I, I don't know, this popped in my brain. I, I saw a posting and it reminded me of the paintings I've done in the past. Uh, it's been a while since I've done something kind of like this. So I decided it's going to be much more fun uh, just doing that. And I, for some reason, my, oh, come on, focus up. <laughs> oh, dear. Come on. So weird how it does this. Oh, well, we'll get, get going here. Yep, it should clear up. Open that thing down again. Come on. Zero in on me. There we go. There we go. We're starting to get clearer here. I'm going to move that back just a bit. There. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. Come on. There we are. Look at that. <laughs> Ah, uh, modern technology. And I get myself a uh, sponge. Handy dandy sponges. Oh, and to start this off, I've got my titanium white. I've got uh, Van Dyke brown, Prussian blue, unpronounceable blue. I've got um, uh, oh God, magenta, uh, cadmium red, cadmium yellow. I've got sap green, light green. And I have yellow ochre. Okay. So we're going to get that sponge. Always love these little sponges. Whoa, I couldn't help myself. So it starts with this little thin thing. And we just pop that into the water. And magically it becomes fully there. And so we're just going to come in and actually mix some magenta into this. And I'm actually going to mix my standard Prussian blue, as per usual, and some white. We'll just start in. Another 30 by 40 canvas. Oh, I couldn't help myself. Man, but before I really get going too much here, got my handy dandy plate here. Pop that right there. Reduce the amount of paint in that brush because I'm just using this line. You don't want to have a big ridge. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to avoid that area with the sponge. Whoa! Couldn't help myself. Got excited again. Okay. Oh my God, you can see the dust. That's all right. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay, if you're not having fun painting, stop. <laughs> hey, Anthony. Hope you're doing well. Oh, dear. Wow. Now, as long as that line stays there. Come close to that line, but I'm not going to go over it. Whoa. I really spray it down. Sometimes I overspray a little bit. That's all right. coat down. Now this is a reminder, I, I already stated it in a, a little message, but <clears throat> we go off a daylight saving time here uh, tonight, and that means tomorrow everything's an hour later. And for people who don't uh, have daylight saving times, like my friends in Arizona uh, and Hawaii, that means I'll change. Uh, one hour later, instead of being on today at 11 o'clock, I'll be on at noon tomorrow. 11 o'clock Pacific time, but noon Arizona time. So just a heads up. And I know it makes it harder for some people, especially when I do my 8 o'clock programs on uh, 
on uh, the weekdays, it's harder for them to stay up. Nine o'clock starts going to be later. Of course, you, Anthony, you change right along with the rest of us, so it doesn't ch change yours. But um, probably next year, I, I've been told that they're not going to do it. Uh, once we get back on the daylight savings times, that's it. That's the new time, which is fine with me, I'm going to be honest. Okay, us, us self-centered people up here in the north, <laughs> uh, which I'd, rather, I'd rather have some of that daylight. Uh, and uh, so there we go. So I'm going to get some white here. Just cover that up right off. But I can see that will probably become a problem. Oh, that's going to be a bit different painting than I'd normally do. I was just trying to think what I wanted to paint today. And uh, so now what the heck? Do this. I popped in my brain. Yeah, hurry up, people. Let's do this. <laughs> I know the entire West Coast passed it. And uh, and Canada uh, told us, uh, British Columbia, which is uh, the province that's north of us, uh, said they'll they'll change right along with the rest of us. So they'll be on the same time as the West Coast. So we'll see. Seems like they've been... Seems like this whole COVID thing put that all on the back burner. That was all ready to go, and then all of a sudden it just stopped. And there is some people who fervently uh, don't want it. And I, I, I have never, I, I understood at the time. I remember, I think it was 1974. I was, I was a kid at the time, and they decided to do that. I think it was something that Nixon did. And uh, the problem is, at that time, moms were taking their kids to school, and uh, and the, and they they couldn't stand it. And but now the times have changed. Most mothers don't. You know they all work now. And the day of the stay home mom is pretty seems to be pretty much over. So we're gonna start here. Let's kind of have like a nice rolling thing here. But it's gonna be a different thing. So a little more a uh, fantasy type thing, more Celtic, more that type of thing. Yep. A really good friend of mine is moving off to Michigan. So I'm going to miss him. Very, very, very talented artist and also very talented uh, graphic designer and everything. I'll tell you what, I've learned quite a bit from him. He's quite the perfectionist. I always give him a, a bad time and says, you know, you know, you're so anal, you whistle when you fart. <laughs> but he, but I'll tell you what, he's anal on what he, you need to be. And I have a tendency to kind of just, eh, eh, whatever, you know, and sometimes that just doesn't cut it. And he's been, uh, I've learned, I've learned a lot. Well, it's one thing with the modern day of internet and video chat and stuff like that, I could st I'll still keep in good contact, that's for sure. Get out there and visit too. One thing Chicago is between us and and him, and we have a lot of flights that go in and out of Chicago from Portland. So that will be that will be nice. We can meet up there for a fun weekend. It's not that long of a flight from here. Okay. 
How many times have I said I need to organize this art, art room? <laughs> well, I said it again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I have a disaster area. <laughs> yeah, well, very. Just hate seeing him. You know, you know, today he's on on the road. He's helped me in the past edit things, and oh, very talented. Yeah. Do my handy dandy uh, T square here. This I have no idea why that song's going through my head, but it is. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. That's just a guide point. Let that dry a little longer. Yeah, maybe it's okay. Get my titanium white out here. quite a bit. You can see blue on my thumb here. <laughs> I've actually gone to work with paint all over my hands. I go, oh, God. The worst is when I get it on my face. I think I've told this story probably millions of times, but <laughs> I always remember when I was going at, I was at a Safeway and the checker just kept looking at me and I was like, what the heck is she looking at, you know? And then and then I got home and there was a perfect handprint right on my face. I looked like something out of Lord of the Rings. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> oh. Well, you sacrifice. get more liquid into that. Well, I tell you what, our weather changed dramatically here. Whew, man, went from hot, dry drought to flooding <laughs> in a matter of less than two weeks. Uh, good grief. It just poured here and the wind was gusting away. Whew, man, it it just, yeah. <laughs> You're like, okay, all right, I'm already tired of this. <laughs> oh, we need the water. One thing nice is that our mountains here, Mount Hood and stuff, have just got a huge dumping of snow. So that's great. Because it, a hood was looking like just one giant rock. It hardly had any snow on it this year after, um, after such a hot, dry spell. It's back to being the white cone that we're used to. <laughs> beautiful. It's a beautiful mountain. Eleven thousand some feet. Big mountain too. And it still steams as a volcano. <laughs> 
They're all flirting with death out down here in Portland. <laughs> oh. All right, we're just going to kind of, but there's going to be a lot more rays going on here. So. I want to do something different. Uh, so look at this one going pretty good here. So we're going to come back into this. I plan to go to that bar that's having my artwork in there, see how things are going. And I'll probably, for next weekend, I'll allow people who've already bought, they can pick up their pieces. I've got to see how many do I need to replace them with. He, he wants me just to kind of continually be there. And so I'm going to come in with, pick out some artworks that will come in there. He says it doesn't have to be the science fiction, which is good. I mean, that gives them a variety more too. So that's good. So we're going to come in here. Not that one. There. Yeah. Put that one. Boom, 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 boom. Mavis, greetings. <laughs> like I said, that's going to be a bit different than what I've done. So bear with me as I work my way through it in my brain. I have this, I don't know, I would have to be on, I think it was Facebook or wherever, and all of a sudden, uh, this idea popped in the brain and so here we are. Now we're on our march towards Thanksgiving. My goodness, can't believe it. I got a visit with my parents coming up I'm in between. Yeah. Let me check on them and see how everything's going. But, uh, Spokane, Spock me, as I call it. <laughs> I had a gentleman, um, oh, years ago, I did this really wild tree, and he bought it out of the bar there. And come to find out he was a Holocaust survivor, so I was in there going, holy crap, I've got somebody. And uh, he's he just a hilarious guy. I mean, one of the funniest people I've ever known. And uh, uh, God, he's in his 90s now, but uh, 
Uh, it's like, wow. Well, I always say art is not all about just making money, but it's also making people smile, you know, and, and, and have a, you know, enjoy it. That's the big thing. Where I get it. That's my thing. All right. It's going to be a wild tree here, but we're going to just kind of get it sketched in here, but I'm going to got some ideas going on in my brain. It's scary. The mind is a terrible thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to come in with a bigger brush and I've got my set green. I thought I ordered cadmium yellow, so I'm I'm gonna to have to look at my Amazon order to see if I did. I have a I have a, re, a recollection that it did show up. And you know, do you think I placed it someplace I could find it? Because I'm getting low on it. <laughs> That's all right. I'll make it. How are you doing, Mavis? Okay, so this is going to be a little bit different than I normally do. Different style, too. Oh, I know. I tell you what, I, you know what I've been doing is I started, um, I actually have found in, I used to poo poo these things, but I have actually found increasing my dosage of uh, vitamin D helps. So at least it's been helping me. I, 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 I definitely could see a difference. And now I don't work in the office, uh, but you know, like a, a screen saver or, or whatever they call it, a wall, I think they have a different name for it now, but, um, uh, uh I use bright colors like a sunset. It, 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 you'd be surprised. So all that little bit helps because I know it could just get so depressing here. I mean, I, I actually sometimes theorize we forgot to pay our, our bill, our light bill on the sun. You know, it just, there is some days it gets so dreary here that uh, it uh, feels like, uh, you know, <laughs> Like, like, did the sun even come up? You know, it just, gosh. And then it's dark by four, you know. And that's when that kind of depresses me about going off at daylight saving time. So tomorrow's going to be, oh. you know? <laughs> We'll get through it. And it's always, right now, was hard because um, you're just getting started with it. And it's just, oh. But I'll make it. We'll make it. Pop that vitamin D pill, whatever it takes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we're in our permawet, permawet uh, time. <laughs> that rusty that's blob right there.
what I need is a private jet that I could, uh, during this time of year, I fly down to my uh, 45,000 square uh, summer, uh, winter home down there in some tropical island, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Lisa. Welcome. Laying in the base colors here. This is, like I said, completely different than what I've been doing for the last few years. I have done something like this in the past, and uh, I said, you know what, why not? Let's do it. Especially if I have to replace some paintings in the show, uh, this might fit their bar theme much better. Just you... <coughs> Using cadmium yellow with a light green and a little bit of a sap green. That's what I'm doing right now. Just getting that basic colors in. A little more. I think I'm going to add a little bit of Prussian blue to that. How are you doing? Greetings. Like I said, it's a little different than what I'm do, uh, normally do, and but it's it, it's fun. And I always say, you know, I always tell people, you know, change it up, have fun, you know. So no prison time coming up or anything like that. <laughs> Unexpected. <laughs> oh, well, the cops are here. <laughs> You know you're in trouble when a bunch of doctors show up and they have a street jacket for you. <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> All right. This in there. Bottom
What was that song? Oh my, they're taking me away. <laughs> okay. I don't want that to yellow brick road, so we're going to work that on. Basic colors. I have no idea why that song's going through my head, but it is. Okay, so we're going to change up here. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that. Come back in here with you. There we go. I'm going to add some unpronounceable blue. When I say unpronounceable blue, uh, so let me find it. <laughs> Philo blue. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Philo blue. Unpronounceable blue, as I call it. <laughs> Bye, Golden. <laughs> <laughs> Susan! <laughs> I heard from Susan a little bit earlier. Oh. She was out, but she was hoping to get back in time. I don't know how that goes. <laughs> don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Oh, probably the most stupid movie ever made and one of the funniest ever. <laughs> Airplane. <laughs> what was the name of that uh, uh, comedian that was uh, on Flip Wilson? That Flip Wilson probably predates an awful lot of your lives. But uh, you can call me, what was it? You can call me Leroy, but you can't call me Roy. <laughs> I can't even have this whole routine. It was just, oh my God, it was hilarious. You see the blue paint on my thumbnail there? <laughs> oh boy. Just coming in here with all this.
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sun's trying to actually peek through the clouds here. Holy cow. Wow. I remember just two weeks ago, you're like, God, it's so damn hot. <laughs> step back, step back. Always step back from your paintings. And a little magenta. White. A little more white than that. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I always thought it was interesting. I was I forget what comedian it was that was talking about how underrated comedy is. He says, you'll never see it get a best picture. You'll never see it uh, get anything like that. But he says, comedy takes incredible timing. You know, it, there, there's, there's things that you can say the same joke. And because you don't have that, that timing, that incredible timing that some of these comedians have, uh, it, it just falls flat on his face. You know, and it was, it was really, you know, it was interesting what he was saying, but it's all about timing. I can remember old Jack Benny when he was alive and he was like, I'm, I'm the master of the pause is what he always used to refer to himself as. And, um, and he always, he always uh, was 39 too. I just want you to know, <laughs> but he was, um, uh, I can remember him at a, it was a, a talk show and he was a guest and he did this 
pause. And it was so funny, he just stared at the audience and you could hear the audience start giggling and then they couldn't stop laughing because he was absolutely right. And he says, see, why don't I tell you? <laughs> it was just, it was hilarious. The master of the pause. Another movie I thought was a, an all-time classic is uh, uh, It's a Mad, Mad, Mad World. Yeah, the airplane two wasn't even close, and I think unfortunately there was an airplane three that really, really sucked. <laughs> Just about always. I think of only a few movies that I I can consider where the sequel was every bit as good, if not better, than the original. One was that if you like science fiction horror, Aliens. You had Alien, and then you had Aliens, and uh, Aliens was just that was that one was really good. <laughs> But they did a great job on that. Okay, I'm going to actually get, go to a bigger brush. Godfather uh, 1 and then 2. And that, that's one of the few movies that won Best Picture back to back. You know, they said most sequels don't ever win Best Picture, but Godfather 2. And then I think Lord of the Rings was another one. I actually, to be honest with you, Lord of the Rings... My most favorite one, it was actually uh, The Two Towers. And then Star Wars, uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back, I really enjoyed. We're still just getting basic colors down right now. Yeah, I agree with that one. Terminator. That was another one. Well, I remember watching the original Terminator. I was in college at the time. And there was a cool little theater that uh, you could sit back in these overstuffed chairs and they actually served beer in there. And it was awesome. I watched Terminator <laughs> with my roommate. Another big science fiction fan. <laughs> Thank you. 
going by really fast, isn't it? What the heck is he doing? I just have some ideas going on here. The brain is working. Watch out. Like I always say, the brain is a terrible thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on. I'm going to make that lighter. Always remember contrast. A lot lighter than that. Oh, I couldn't help myself again. <laughs> get in there, get in there, get in that sky in. It's an odd sky, I know. But we'll work it, we'll work it, you'll see. back in here with some more unpronounceable blue. Okay, a little bit of Prussian blue, a little bit of magenta, a little more magenta. Just tap that in there.
We're doing good. A little more here. Come on. A little more water. If your paint's not flowing, it means you don't have enough water in it. It starts to get really sticky. It's a kind of like a fine little uh, balance that you have to do because you get too much water, and guess what? It starts running on you. But not enough water, then guess what? It doesn't flow. Kind of like when you're doing an oil painting, you, you balance it with the linseed oil or the paint thinner. Same thing. Okay. It's kind of rough to end. We'll clean that up later. Okay, so we're going to get the other brush out here. Oh, I know myself got excited again. <laughs> I'm going to snag a brush. But all these new brushes, and they just sit here. You can do it. Baby, dum bum bum. That tree in here. I was really surprised how much uh, response I got to that tree I did the other day. <clears throat> you never know. It's just really interesting. That one really, that's the biggest response I think I've ever had. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. We had that yesterday here. Where are you from, Lisa? Chicago. Oh, cool. I, you know, I've only landed in Chicago, but I plan to make a trip there uh, probably sometime in the near future. When I say near, that's not quite accurate, but um, uh, I have my nephews in, getting married in Buffalo, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to stop over in Chicago, meet up with a friend, and uh, and because Chicago, I've heard, is a really cool city, so I'd like to like to see it. Yeah, I've heard that. <laughs> yeah, when I plan to visit uh, Chicago, it'll be like in the fall. I was in D.C., and that was quite lovely, the weather. Got a little bit of that hurricane, but not bad. Okay, I'm gonna almost almost done for the day. I'll be. Uh, I should be back on tomorrow. 
Uh, I don't see any any reason why not. I don't have any big pending plans. So I'm just going to sketch this out and just bear with me. It's just a sketching. Just keep doing that. Probably needs to be a little more up. Just a sketching right now. I get one more brush. I go through so many brushes. I find it's easier just to get a new brush instead of trying to get all the paint out of it. And then, and then make sure you thoroughly clean it once you're, once you're done. Oh my goodness, I've got paint all over my hands. <laughs> That's what happens. Almost like a Celtic, jeez, uh, Celtic scene here. <laughs> yeah, it was blowing here. Well, we're up on that hour, people, so I'm going to have to sign off. Thank you so much for joining me. And Lisa, I'm on uh, almost regularly. Um, 11 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays, Pacific time, you know. Um, I think you're two hours different than me. <clears throat> so that's what I do. And then at, at 8 p.m. Pacific time, so that'd be 10 o'clock your time, so on the weekdays. So ah, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'll be back working on this probably tomorrow unless something comes up. Things sometimes come up. But uh, you take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye -bye. <laughs> So we got a new painting going on. So we'll, we'll see how this, this is a little different than what I normally do. But take care and enjoy the rest of your day or evening or where you are on this planet. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>